Okay. Hey, you two. We got Deep here today. Uh, he finished his Zephyr today, and he wanted to show us his profile for it. So let's see it. All right. For Zephyr, as you know, it's an Omni Arch type that combines all the Arch types as duals to lines, while the main Arch type is consistent of Ze uh, Yang Zing, Yang Zing Shadals, Teller Knights, Necros, and Ritual Beasts. Okay. So we start with three of. Zephraxi, Treasure of the Yang Zing. Basically, when it's Pendulum Summoned, what it can do is turn any other Zephra or Yang Zing monster into a tuner. Okay. But there's a downside, though. Once it leaves the field after using this effect, it'll be put at the bottom of your deck instead of going face up to the extra deck. Oh, okay. So there is a downside, but you can get around that, but we'll talk about that later. The main searcher and superstar of Zephra is Zephra and you, three of them. No, uh... There's just no way you can get past not using three. You have to run three. It when it's Pendulum Summoned, or if it's destroyed by battle, it lets you search out uh, Zephra or Yang Zing spell card. Or trap. It lets you search out uh, Oracle of the Zephra, which lets you also... which we'll explain later. Two, Zephra Thuban. It's a Teller Knight. When it's Pendulum Summon, Normal Summon, or Flip Summon, you can pop a Pendulum Monster, well, a Zephra Pendulum Monster, or Telenite Monster, and pop a face-up card on the field. It's very useful, I cannot understate that. Two, Zephra Saber, Swordmaster of the Necros. Basically, what he does is he's a, mon it's a ritual spell in the form of a monster. You can distribute him from your hand or from your face up or face up from your side of the field and ritual summon as if you were a ritual spell. Very useful, but only in the case of if you're running some form of Necroz hybrid inside your Zephyr engine. Another useful card whose usefulness cannot be stated enough is Satellar Knight Zephyr Exiton. He's 1900. When he is flip, pendulum, or normal summon, he can pop a pendulum scale, a Zephyr pendulum scale, monster or Talonite monster, and pop a set card. Now, even if your opponent flips it in response, that card is still destroyed. Two, Zephraxa, Flame Beast of the Necros. Basically, what happens is if in your pendulum zone, if a card in your pendulum zone, or if a uh, Zephra Pendulum Monster is destroyed, you can special summon it. It works for the same thing if it's a Necroz monster. As you can see, this archetype it loosely supports their original archetype and Zephra in general. Two Valor, I might bump this up to three, because it's just such a good card to have, especially because Synchro Summoning is one of the strongest extra deck methods you can use with Pendulum. Uh, pendulum Monsters will go back to the extra deck after a successful Synchro Summoning. Now, here are the one-ups, monster-wise. Ritual Beast Tamer Zephra Wendy. Basically, she's there just as another name and a scale of seven. When she's Pendulum Summoned or Normal Summoned, you can add a face-up Pendulum Monster from your extra, well, Zephra Pendulum Monster from your extra deck to your hand. Useful in case you need to get one of your scales back. Now, this one-up I might increase in the future, Ritual Beast Tamer Zephra, Zephra Pilka. When she's normal or pendulum summoned, she can bring back a uh, Zephra or Ritual Beast card from the graveyard, and during the end phase, it's destroyed. Kind of useful one for recycling from your XYZ plays. So this is one of the cards to hold out for in the future. Shadal Zephra Naga and Shadal Zephra Core. This one, Zephra Core lets you special summon a pendulum from your pendulum zone. Of course, Zephra Pendulum is that saying. It's okay, I guess, for XYZ plays, but it's better off as a one of. Same with Zephra Naga, which just lets you add a pe uh, Zephra Pendulum Monster from your Pendulum to your hand. Basically, just recycling. The reason these are in the deck is not only for more scales, because the problem with Pendulum decks in general uh, is just having your scales set up. Most of the time, I'll have issues if I don't run enough Pendulums. I would love to run less Zephyr and run only the good ones, but sadly, the deck does not have its own Clifford Scout. Mm -hmm. So to increase in consistency, you're going to need to run multiples. All right. Cool. And then going on to the Backbone engine, I use the Shadal engine. So for this, I used a set of 
Beast, Dragon, Hedgehog, and Falco. A neat play you can do is when you go into Shawl Construct, you can dump Hedgehog and search one of your scales, so they help each other out. That's cool. And then for my personal tech choice, the ritual option of Brio, two Brios, and a Trish. Brio lets you search out your scales as well, and Trish is just an additional boss monster to have. Now going on to the spells, three Oracle of the Zephyr, the most important card in the entire deck if you're running a main Zephyr deck. Run three, no exceptions. Basically, it can tutor for any Zephyr monster, and whenever you use an extra deck summoning method that involves a Zephra monster as a material, you will gain a bonus effect. The most uh, powerful, of course, is Ritual, which is the hardest to do. In which case, when you Ritual Summon using a Zephra as a material, you can just spin one monster card on your opponent's side of the field back into the deck. When you Synchro, you can have a Lavavel chain as effect, in which case you get to choose a monster and place it on the top of your deck. When you XYZ, you can draw one and then discard one, which is great for the Shadals. So if you can Synchro first, and then XYZ, stack Shadal Beast, or whichever Shadal's effect you really need, and then draw from the XYZ effect, and discard it, trigger effect. Two Shadal Fusion, because we have Shadals in the deck, self-explanatory, it helps you plus. One Raigeki, because Raigeki. Two Divine Strike. I know most people would like to run three, but the fact is we have no real way of bringing back Banished Zephra Pendulum Scales. So your scales are a resource, and I cannot stress enough how detrimental it is to have them available. Whether they're in your face up in your extra deck, or on the field, or in the scales, or in your hand. The way this deck is going to succeed is if you have access to your resources, and you have to be very careful with them, because unlike Cliff Forts, this deck can be fragile at times. And now moving on to the draw power, Echo Oscillation. This lets you pop a scale during either player's turn and draw one. You can only use this effect once per turn, and quite frankly, this has saved me so many times. Because let Let's say I have a monster, a one of, that I really needed to pendulum some. Let's say uh, Pilika, best example. And I have a bunch of my other Zephra inside the graveyard. What I do is Echo Oscillation, pop Pilika, draw a card, and then put a new scale of one, hopefully, pendulum summon her, and I'd be gaining resources back. And then as for the one of traps, bottomless, all morning, torrential, self explanatory. They're harmless to us, but they can really impede components. Right. Yeah. Let's clean up a bit here so we can do the extra inside. Main deck's 40 cards. 40 cards. Any changes you'd make after today? Yes. Most notably, I'd probably cut down on the number of traps in the deck. I decided to take out Chosen of the Zephyr. Uh, that was a tough decision. I like the card for its flavor, but as a, in the competitive sense, it's not going to cut it. It's a dead card, and even with Echo Oscillation. I'm also considering putting Courage Light Monarch to pop scales and draw, but again, the deck has some consistency issues. Putting terraforming in is a gimmicky option at best. I've tried that. I've been working on this deck for quite some time since it was revealed in OCG. But uh, I'm going to have to see more real-world testing to see how consistent and how good I can make this deck. Most right. notably, I'm probably be adding more Shadal fusions and increasing either the Ritual or the Shadal back onto the deck. All right. Thanks, Alex. Uh, don't forget Anomalith. As for the extra deck, El Shadal... And Adelitis, uh, El Shadal Construct, self-explanatory. This is to stop Necros mainly, and we run Waters inherently in the main deck, so getting her out is relatively not difficult. El Shadal Construct, plenty of lights. Just a great card. I usually use it to uh, dump Hedgehog into the grave, so I can search a Pendulum Scale, just as a backup option. Uh, Clearwing Synchro Dragon, an amazing card, very easy to make in Zephra, uh, in addition to the stacking effect of Oracle. You just need uh, Zephraxi or any of the level 4s, very easy to make. Star Eater, 
this card I might consider cutting. Hasn't done much for me, really. Not made often. If you decide to make um, Zephra Exa into a tuner and sync him with uh, Zephra New, but otherwise, this card might get the X. Start a Spark Dragon. This card has been phenomenal because I would use Zephra Axie to make one of the other level fours a tuner and then sync them up, get the effect, and just protect my scales. Gigantic Castle comes in handy actually because sometimes you'll just have two of the Yang Zing Zephra and no other plays available because games just don't always go the way you want them to. Your opponent's going to be trying to beat you. They're not going to let you go off all the time. So it's just a good option to have, just have a big beater. Samsara, Dragon of Rebirth, I might cut this for an Armades, but it's a good wall to have in case you need to bring back resources. And one of the best uh, Zephyr-centric synchros, though, is Horus, or Metaphys of Horus. This card actually gains effects off being, uh, off getting uh, uh, Pendulum Monsters as its synchro material. It has a big eye effect in which your opponent has to choose a monster that they control and give you control of it. Yeah. And since most of the Pendulums you use are also effect monsters, it also begins to permanently negate the effect of one face of card on the field. So in most cases, I'm going to want to go into Metaphys of Horus. Just because I want my opponent's monster, I'll negate either one of their face of floodgates. Usually Mistake is one of the cards I want to get rid of first. This helped me immensely by negating Mistake, so they just had a dead card on the field and I got their only monster. It's very powerful, but you got to know how to use it. Gazi, Evil of the Yang Zing, another amazing card because you Pendulum Summon every turn. You can just Pendulum Summon a uh, Yang Zing Pendulum Monster, use its effect, that's a free pop each turn. It's just a great card in general. As for the XYZs, Dweller, Arc, Castell. So pretty much just like staples. Yeah, just staples, and because you have uh, a level 4 water... Yeah, you can make them 22. You can make them 22. They're just good, they help out a lot, and then they trigger Oracle's effect for a free draw and discard. And then M7. He, I don't get out as often, but he's essential in the fact that... I can use up two uh, level sixes. Rare, but it happens. Alrighty. Or I'll um, uh, overlay Metaphys of Horus with Zephyr New. Okay. Just good cards in general. So, side deck. Yeah. Though I recommend for anybody experimenting with this deck to try out more Elshadol Elemental Fusions. This deck isn't something that there'll ever be one set build for, in my opinion. It's up to the player base to make this deck as good as it can be for that player. A Zephyr deck that's good for me isn't going to be a Zephyr deck that's necessarily good for you. This deck was made, the whole archetype was made in, was made to be creative. It's made to express you as a player. It may not be the tier zero most broken archetype, but it can compete and it can be fun and creative at the same time. Now let's get to the side deck. Two maxi, because it's a staple. Special summons, yep. Two Dark Hold, just a gin lock. Uh, and out to a gin lock or an established board, just a good card. Now, this card here, Pendulum Impenetrable, I'd like to go over this card more. When you play this, this turn, Pendulum, uh, cards in the Pendulum Zone can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effects, and it negates any effect that would target a Pendulum card in your Pendulum Zone. Oh, so it seems good. So if your opponent tries to castell you, tries to Diamond Dire Wolf, MST, you slap this sucker on, it just saved you a turn. It saved me so much in this last tournament. Good. I might consider putting this at three. It's just too good. Or maining it. And then this card, highly debated, Zephyr Path. Now, you can only activate this card if you have two Zephyr cards in your pendulum zone. And when you do activate it, shuffle all non-Zephyr cards on your field back into the deck. Now, I know that sounds bad, but its other effect is neither player can special summon monsters except from the hand or extra deck. That shuts down Ritual Beasts, it hurts Burning Abyss, it hurts... Shadal. No, Shadal's okay. No, Shadal's don't get hit by it much, but it does stop Tellers. It kind of stops Necros, too, if they use Cycle. Yeah. I mean, it's just... A, a searchable uh, way to... It's a yeah. searchable floodgate, basically. Yeah, pretty much. And uh, I always make sure I have one of these set before using this, because I want to protect my pendulum zones. And this card cannot be targeted 
quality, and you have two scales up, so they have to pop your pendulum zone, making them good bait for pendulum and penetrable. Good, good. It's just how this card, most people, either you love it or you hate it, but it's a good way for Zephyr to compete with the meta. All right, what else you got in there? Two shared ride for the Necroz matchup. Yeah. Pretty standard. It's a staple now with all the searching. MSTs. And then three Mystical Space yep. Typhoon mirror matches. Just general back row hate. Mind crush. You want to bait out that mind crush. And two Mischief of the Gnomes. This is mainly for the Teller and the Burning Abyss matchup. Just a good way to slow your opponent's down. This may change in the future to two wire taps, possibly, but further testing will. will be, be, yeah, be needed. Alright, well, thanks deep, and we'll be back with you guys next week for more video.